行開始How's it going, everybody? Pig Bay here, PB for short, and today we have a match in the Tier 10 Cruiser, the Zhao. Now, lately, you guys have just been getting sneaky peekies as videos, and you know, honestly, you guys really should get a little bit of everything because there are plenty of good tech tree ships. Now, Zhao, honestly, sometimes it can be a little rough to play and carry matches. But it's not bad. I really do love this boat. Now, what does the Zhao have going for her? Well, the number one thing is the concealment. Really good concealment, especially if you slot the concealment mod, which is what I am currently running. Not only that, she does have long range, hard hitting torpedoes, especially for a cruiser. Now, the guns are sitting at about a 10 second reload, but the HE does have a pretty good fire chance. The one thing I will say, and this is pretty much true from like tier 8 and up, don't sleep on the AP, especially firing at DDs. Now, you're not going to see, see me fire a single salvo of AP in this match. I was just kind of testing things out, and I wanted to see what it would look like, what the match would look like if I just shot HE. So again, this isn't like, especially me firing on this gearing, it's not optimized at all. Like, if... I was nailing him with AP, I'd be doing about like 750s a show, for full pens at least. And the thing with the AP, for some reason you can fire it a lot closer. So what I mean by that is, normally with 203s, once the DDs enter a certain threshold, you just start overpenning them. But for some reason, I just feel like the 203s on the Japanese line, they just you know, pen, get full pens. Now the strongest position for Azao or Takao or Nabuki is going to be a kiting position. And the reason for that is just because of the torp angles. Now you briefly just saw there, if I'm bow in, those torpedo angles are atrocious. But now kiting, I'm in a stronger position to utilize them. Now skill wise, you do get defensive fire alert one and precise aiming. Honestly, the only useful one is precise aiming. That defensive fire alert is just good for like firework shows. That's about it. It's not really going to help you. I mean, I honestly forget to use it. Now onto this match. We're currently not in possession of this cap. And we desperately need it. Did launch some torps. Unfortunately, they did not make it. So I basically shot into the gap as a, eh, if they hit, they hit. Maybe it'll make them back off a little bit. And it sort of worked but we still don't have possession of this cap. So I'm just using my range and maneuverability, just going back and forth, trying to light fires. You can see with the Wooster, we're kind of synergizing off of each other. Now what I mean by us synergizing is either he's gonna get someone to use their damage control or I'm gonna get someone to use their damage control and then we'll just end up lighting permanent fires. It's just a vicious cycle and that's something you don't wanna to happen to when you're in a GK because they are very flammable. Now I see the Fletcher. I'm going to go ahead and start engaging him. I always say it. The first team normally to get the DDs down usually wins. Unfortunately, we only had one DD and he went down. We got one of theirs, but they had two. So essentially I'm the other DD at the moment. Now, unfortunately I'm in a bad position. He launched Torps. And I'm not really moving as much, but I'm using the age old tactic of hide behind the bigger ship to alleviate me actually eating any of these torps. The bigger problem at the moment, though, is we still don't have the cap. We're just now getting it. We're also down a ship, but they do have some pretty unhealthy ships. So this is where I'm going to start making my move. Unfortunately, I could not lob those shells just to get a kill on that GK. Neither can the, the Wooster apparently, so we tried. So now I want to explain the thought process of why I'm making my move now. The two battleships, they're not very healthy. You got one Buffalo in BFE and make a left, and the Zhao hasn't been seen in a while. So that just leaves three ships to contest me pushing up, and I want to get a better shot on these two battleships. So the three ships is... The GK, who's pretty much almost dead. Unfortunately, I didn't kill him there. 
the Minnesota, and the Fletcher. Now the Fletcher could be spooky if he gets Torps on my broadside, but it's just one of those things we're going to have to deal with. You know, because we are down on points, we're down 100 points, and you know, it's still anyone's game at this point. Now the Zao gets spotted on relatively low health. I'm going to go ahead and pop the precise aim and try to take him out. Unfortunately, I only get two hits, but they are fires. So two hits, two fires, I'll take it. I'll take that RNG. I mean, you can see it is lucky or unlucky. But we go ahead and pop the Minnesota right here for our second kill of the game. Now, unfortunately, our allied battleship right there goes down. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Torps, and then I'm going to sail as fast as I can towards this island while shooting the Zhao. So I'm shooting the Zhao so that the DD doesn't realize I launched Torps at him. But the reason why I want to make it to this island is because if he tries to launch Torps, I'm moving at a speed where he's going to be shooting into the island. At least if he goes off the indicator. So in very quick succession, down goes the Zhao. And down goes the Fletcher to my torpedoes. Unfortunately, I eat two torpedoes from the Zhao, bringing my health down to 3k. And it's, it's, you know, the Kraken's on the table. Luckily, I have my torpedoes on my left side reloaded. And I'm going to go ahead and just hail Mary them, launch them at the Hakuru, and we'll see what I can get. On a side note, Hakuryu killed me with guns. That's a uh, you know a little little sad to my morale, but we're gonna get them back. These torps are looking really good, and yeah, that's gonna be the game right there. With 10 seconds left, we end up getting the carrier and get a boatload of medals for our troubles. So, Kraken unleashed, 106,000 damage done. But that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoy the content consider liking and subscribing. You can catch me streaming on YouTube on Friday nights. I try not to miss a day, but sometimes, you know, I have to switch it to Saturday. I'm sorry. But yeah, until next time, everyone.